everybody, welcome to the Truth Seeker channel. Today I'm going to talk about the coronavirus and especially about the coronavirus in uh, Wuhan, the source of the coronavirus, where it all started. We can see now uh, there are more than 1 million cases and more than 50,000 deaths. Well, let's start with the Wuhan Institute of Virology. That's in the province of uh, Hubei. It opened mainland China's first biosafety level four, as I said in my last uh, video, the highest safety level biosafety four uh, laboratory in Wuhan. You also have the Chinese Center for Disease Control and Prevention in uh, Wuhan. You have like three of these. And these are for the protection so protection and prevention of diseases. This is a very important uh, center because you will see later in this video why. But first let's go to these uh, three of these uh, institutions. First the uh, Wuhan Institute of Virology and the uh, Center of Disease, the Jiang'an. You can see the center uh, CDC, the Wuhan CDC is like in the middle and there is the uh, virology center, it's just at the south and there is the market. So you have three places in Wuhan that's important in this story. So let's see, the distance between these are not that much, about 10 miles from the uh, market to the uh, institution. Uh, what's strange is Google Maps doesn't show the exact location. They are like uh, manipulating the Google Maps, the Chinese. Because you can see here, um, one of the Google Maps uh, before 29 January showed that Wuhan was moved like 15 miles southwest of its original location. And then after it moved back, to where it was so they were like changing position and uh, the Google Maps doesn't really show exactly where it is anymore so but according to most people it's not that far from the mar market about 10 miles according to uh, eyewitnesses so you cannot really rely on the Google Maps um, location of China okay that is one thing and the next one is um, the articles from many uh, newspapers. This is one from the scientist. Uh, the lab escape theory had been circulating on social media and various blogs for weeks, but gained considerable visibility in a New York Post article late February. So you have like the lab escape conspiracy theory but most scientists say it's a natural virus, so not man-made. They don't believe it escaped from a laboratory. Mm. In one of the article, Mosher describes several lines of reasoning, namely that the lab is less than 10 miles away from the seafood market where a cluster of COVID-19 cases was first discovered. And that after the 2003 SARS outbreak, the SARS cough virus escaped from virology labs multiple times in China. He also describes how Chinese virologist and bioweapons expert Major General Qi, Wen, Qi Wei went to the Wuhan Institute of Virology with military scientists in January to study the new virus, which Mosher sees as a form of damage control. The circumstantial evidence surrounding it is pretty compelling. The idea that the epicenter of this epidemic would be just a few miles from the Institute of Virology in Wuhan, which is where we know that dangerous pathogens are being kept and looked at as potential bioweapons. I think the odds against that are just astronomical, this Mosher said in the uh, article, The Scientist. Okay. More rumors swirled online over the weekend, this time that Wuhan Institute of Virology researcher Chen Guanjiao had reported the head of the institute, Wang Jianyi, claiming she had sold experimental animals to the live animal and seafood market and leaked the virus from the lab. Ok, 
Okay, that's one of the rumors that somebody that they sold experimental animals to the market. Okay, the hypothesis of the coronavirus originating from a laboratory in Wuhan is plausible. But still it remains a mystery on how the uh, virus came to be and how it starts spreading. The source is yet unknown. Um, also another coincidence that happened in Wuhan last year was the World Military Games held in Wuhan last October. So the Chinese are blaming the American that they brought the uh, virus to Wuhan in the military games. It says yesterday China decreed a Twitter fight accusing the United States of being the source of the virus. Zhao Lijian, a spokesman for the Chinese foreign ministry wrote that it could have been the US Army that brought the epidemic to Wuhan. America owes us an explanation. The accusation appears to be linked to the participation of members of the United States military, military in the World Military Games held in Wuhan last October, which brought together representatives from over 100 nations. The Military World Games in Wuhan in October. So check that out. That's, that also happened last year in Wuhan. Um, yeah, another one is the hunted down viruses from SARS, a Chinese Batwoman. We now have the Batwoman. This is a virologist, Xu Zengli. She is like hunting viruses in bats for many years now. I think she started about in 2004. Let's see, tracing the virus at its source. To she, her first virus discovery expeditions felt like a vacation. On a breezy, sunny spring day in 2004, she joined an international team of researchers to collect samples from bat colonies in caves near Nanning, the capital of Guangxi. Her inaugural cave was typical of the region, large, rich in limestone columns and being a popular tourist destination, easily accessible. It was spellbinding, she recalls with milky white stalactics stalactites hanging from the ceiling like icicles glistening with moisture. In those first virus hunting months in 2004, whenever a cheese team located at Bat Cave, it would put a net at the opening before dusk and then wait for the nocturnal creatures to venture out to feed for the night. Once the bats were trapped, the researchers took blood and saliva samples, as well as fecal swabs often working into the small hours. After catching up on some sleep, they would return to the cave in the morning to collect urine and fecal or fecal pellets. So these researchers were like heavily looking into these bats. They are like trapping bats, catching them, taking them maybe to the uh, institution or laboratory. But they won't say that in these articles or in the movies. Here you will see like they will like just take the uh, saliva and freeing the bats. To, so they will look good for the outside world. We thought con coronaviruses probably did not like Chinese bats. Hmm. The team was about to give up when a research group in the neighboring lab handled it. A diagnostic kit of handed it a diagnostic kit for testing antibodies produced by people with SARS. Back in Wuhan, China's Batwoman has decided to retire from the front line of virus hunting expeditions. But the mission must go on, says she, who will continue to lead research programs. What we have uncovered is just the tip of the ice of an iceberg. Dashak's teams has estimated there are as many as 5,000 coronavirus strains waiting to be discovered in bats globally. She's planning a national project to systematically sample viruses in, a bat, in bat caves with much greater scope and intensity than her team's previous attempts. Bat-borne coronaviruses will cause more outbreaks, she says, with a tone of brooding certainty. We must find them before they find us. Well, I hope they don't find them because they will, of course, lose them or sell it to the government or the highest bidder. This is another article about return of the coronavirus. They wrote this article very fast after the discovery in 2019. 
Isolation and characterization of a novel bat coronavirus closely related to the direct progenitor of secure acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus. This is an article from December 2015, more than four years ago. We report the isolation and characterization of a novel bat coronavirus, which is much closer to the sphere the SARS CoV in genomic sequence than others previously reported, particularly in its S gene. The important thing is that they already, like four years ago, found a new strain. I published it in this scientific article. Very difficult wordings and pictures. As you can see, received 13 October 2015, accepted 21 December 2015. So it was more than four years ago that they knew about this virus and still did nothing about it. Okay, on to the next subject, bat as food. Bats are a food sources source for humans in some areas. Bats are consumed in various amounts in some regions within some Asian, African, European and Pacific Rim countries and cultures including Vietnam, Seychelles, Indonesia, Palau, Thailand, China and Guam. So bat have, bats have likely been consumed as a food source since prehistoric times in the Asia-Pacific region. So we have been eating bats for a very a long time, us human. Maybe that's why we got these stories and myths about vampires. Will they ever learn? Chinese markets are still still selling bats and slaughtering rabbits on blood-soaked floors as Beijing celebrates victory over the coronavirus. They are still eating bats and cats. Chinese researchers isolated deadly bat coronavirus near Wuhan Animal Market. Okay, this is this um, new video that uh, popped up um, about this Tian Junhua. Several Chinese state media outlets in recent months touted the virus research and ionized, lionized in particular a key researcher in Wuhan, Qian Junhua, a leader in the bat virus work. So the story, media outlets in China recent months have reported a virus research in Wuhan, uh, where researchers collected and studied samples from tissues and different animals, including bats. The reports largely focus on China's research on viruses and mentioned Qian Junhua a member of a team that conducted research on a bat virus who works for the Office of Decontamination and Biological Disease Vector Prevention and Control within the Wuhan CDC, a specialized department within the Wuhan CDC. There's a video posted online titled Youth in the Wild, Invisible Defender. This is the guy, they are like researching bats. Bat out of hell, Chinese virus expert film Catching Bats fuels conspiracy coronavirus was caused by Wuhan scientists. So there was like this video, I have it there on the YouTube. You can like look it up, it's not hard to find. Tian Wanhu, Wuhan Municipal Center for Disease Control and Prevention. I was the only one posted a comment. Ah, let's look. Coronavirus collection. I am a defender of the invisible defense. Well, he, I think, found this virus. So this was a documentary film a few years ago. Where these scientists from Wuhan were They went into this cave, the bat cave, and they found these uh, bats and they were taking samples. These are like they're looking for new viruses. I think they found more than 2,000 different viruses of different animals in about uh, eight years' time. And one of these viruses was the uh, coronavirus, the new one, the one that's now spreading.
This is the guy. Let's see the bats, and they were like making a net, and the net. They are waiting, and they wait for the bat to come out. Bat flies in the net. They fly in the net, and then they catch the bats, take blood samples. Here sample. So he took all these samples, and um, you see he's not wearing protective mask. Say nothing ventured, nothing gained. So it's a great day. Okay. Next, the malaria drug helps virus patients improve in small study. A group of moderately ill people were giving hydro hydroxychloroquine, which appeared to ease their symptoms quickly, but more research is needed. There's some uh, pills, I think it's oxygen pills, helps uh, it help to reduce the symptoms. Mark Zuckerberg and Priscilla Chen announced three billion dollar effort aimed at curing disease. September 21, 2016. And now you see that Bill Gates and Mark Zuckerberg are working together to fund research for COVID-19 treatments as the pandemic continues to spread. So all the plan for uh, Bill Gates is uh, working out. He's now working not only with um, Rockefeller, but with, um, with Mark Zuckerberg also. And they were almost at the last stage of their plan. This is not a pandemic, but a pandemic. Well, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think about the video and subscribe to the channel.